or your voice, your vote. Anti-tax advocates say this year's array of bond measures across the county is record setting and they're urging taxpayers to vote no across the board. They say the measures are simply government asking for more of your money to cover its poor management. 10 News anchor Jim Patton has joins us from Mission Hills with a deeper look at the debate. The district says that this aging building behind me here at Grant K through 8 is one of the buildings that would be replaced with funds from Proposition YY. But critics say this is money that shouldn't be needed to begin with. We have to say no to the big bond bailout of 2018. About a dozen taxpayer advocates, including school watchdogs, speaking out against measure YY and other school bond measures in front of district headquarters in San Diego. These bonds are used to cover up financial mismanagement in local government. They are a big old bailout. They're running up the credit card. Reform advocates say bond measure YY for San Diego Unified is the third in a series beginning in 2008 that have fallen short. Maybe you should ask the people who wrote measure YY why they didn't get the projects that they put on the list in 2008 or 2012 done. So you can see a state-of-the-art classroom building that was recently completed, and that was all as a result of the generous support of the taxpayers for Proposition S and Z. District spokesman Andrew Sharp met with 10 News at Grant K through 8 in Mission Hills. He says the bond measures in 08 and 12 were always steps in a three-part improvement package for San Diego School. Then 2008 was to develop a district-wide plan, what it would cost to bring all of our schools into working order. And this is the final phase of that. The property tax bill is over $4,000. But tax watchdogs say people are simply being pushed to the limit. She may be at $5,000. That's very, very difficult. And they maintain these tax measures will cover mismanagement holes government doesn't want to talk about. It doesn't go where they are told it's going to go. The money's always diverted and siphoned off. In Mission Hills, Jim Patton, 10 News. Tune in to 10 News and ABC News for the most comprehensive coverage on election night. Our nonstop live coverage begins at 4 p.m. We'll have the first results after the polls close at 8 p.m., along with live results at the bottom of your screen throughout the night. And join us at 10 p.m. for a 10 News election special, and we'll have all the breaking developments on 10 News at 11.